So I'm going to really quickly show you a few techniques I love using for under my eye area. Really good for reducing puffiness and dark circles. So super simple. First one, we just tap round with our index finger. So you can go both ways and I do for about one minute in total. Second one, you come underneath the eyes with feather like touch. You don't want to drag the skin here. You come all the way down and you just pulse here. So you take that again, come under the eyes, behind the ears, all the way down and a little pulse. Third one, you just bring the index fingers here and you do light, quick pulses. This is really going to aid the lymphatic drainage. And another one which is great for lymphatic drainage, using your ring finger, coming all the way around the eye area. That works beautifully as well. And your final one, you just place both hands onto your forehead, open your eyes as wide as you possibly can, really engage that muscle that goes around the eyes to strengthen and tone the muscle. You can then do a few looking up and looking down. So you bring some eye exercise into it to help strengthen the muscle and boost the blood circulation. And you can do each of these for up to one minute every day. So two fingers are going to start to massage along our jawline. So again, we've got that lovely glide here from the moisturising serum. So we're able to go right up to underneath the ears, taking that again, massaging all the way along. Try and focus on your breathing in and out through your nose and try and focus on your posture as well. So try not to slump over, lengthening through the spine really helps as you're doing this massage and it'll help your lower face to look naturally more lifted and sculpted. Never underestimate the power of good posture. Okay, so we're going to take that with our thumbs now and we're going to glide up and lift off. So gliding up and lifting off. This feels so good just to sculpt to the jawline. Breathing in and out through the nose as you do. And try and relax tension in the rest of your face here. So really enjoying that lovely massage. Working on getting rid of some of that tension in the muscle. Encouraging the muscle to naturally lift. Bringing all the fresh blood, nutrients and oxygen up to the skin surface. Really helping to boost that blood circulation. Now let's just work up with our fingers. Deep breaths. This feels so soothing. With all these techniques, we're working upwards and outwards to encourage that natural muscle lifting. Okay, so let's now just work up like this. So we're working upwards, again, encouraging that muscle lifting. This also helps just to help any blocked energy. So in yoga, we call it prana. In traditional Chinese medicine, qi. And if the energy is very blocked in a certain area, this can often show up as lines or wrinkles or sagging skin. So it's important to look at it from all points of view, working with lifting and toning the muscles, working with boosting the blood circulation, working with releasing tension in the muscles, but also looking at it from a more holistic point of view of helping that energy flow. So let's do a couple more of those. Good. Okay. And then just do some massages with the two fingers up the nasal labial folds, right into that area. And then taking that again, working upwards. Let's do one more time. Amazing. So let's get going. We're going to just start off going a little bit upwards with our fingers. So just light touch to start off with here. Now you may have seen some of my other videos where I go down the neck and that's if we're going down here lightly for lymphatic drainage. But today it's all about lifting. So we are simply going to go upwards and use as much or as little pressure as feels right for you. 
you can really work to your own level with all of this and you don't want to drag the skin and that's why it's important to have a little bit of glide from something like your moisturizing serum you can use a cream that's also okay as well it won't give you that same glide and usually it will just sit on top of the skin on that top layer of skin the epidermis rather than get into the dermis because the molecules won't be as small as something like the moisturizing serum. You can also use a straightforward oil, that's fine. But again, you may find that that just sits on top of the skin, or you might actually find that it feels a little bit heavy or brings you into a bit of a breakout, but use what's right for you. Get to know your own skin. Just remember your own guide, you are your own teacher. Okay, so we've done that part of it. You can go a little bit longer with any of these if you like. Sometimes you can go up to one minute or even one and a half minutes if that feels good for you. We're going to do two fingers and thumb and we're just going to pinch down to the muscle and then lift off. And we're going either side here where you can actually see and feel enough muscle to pinch down to. Now you don't want to be pulling the skin outwards, that's really important here. Remember this skin is very delicate on the neck area, it needs to be massaged, but you don't want to be dragging it or pulling it. So think about finding that place where you can actually go down to the muscle, give it a really good pinch, and this is going to help to boost the blood circulation here, bring all that fresh blood and nutrients and oxygen up to your skin surface going to help really feed the skin and naturally lift. Just working upwards here and then just gently lifting off. Then we're going to be doing some tapping, light quick taps all the way over your neck area and we can do a little bit up and down here. It doesn't matter too much with your tapping, but this is also going to just allow your product to penetrate a little bit deeper into your skin here. So just inhaling and exhaling as you do this, waking up the neck muscles. This is going to soften the appearance of lines and wrinkles here. Wonderful. Okay, then next you're going to take the tops of the fingers and you're going to tap under your chin. Now think about your chin being parallel to the floor if you can here. So remember posture is such an important part of face yoga as well. So when we have that forward posture and we're screwing this area in, we're creating lines in this area, we get a fluid accumulation underneath the chin as well, which can show up often as a double chin or sagging jowl area. So thinking about our posture, lengthening up through the spine, relaxing the shoulders, imagine a string from the top of the head going upwards. This all really helps to correct that forward posture, helps to keep this whole neck area nice and taut and tight. And this tapping is helping to naturally tighten as well. We're also just working with boosting that blood circulation there. Wonderful. So just bring your hand down there gently and then just do a little bit of pulsing here. We're just going to do a little bit of lymphatic drainage that I talked to you about at the beginning. So just going here nice and gently and then that very light touch and much, much lighter than when we were doing our lifting. This is just drain any toxins from the face. Just gently bring them down towards the lymph nodes. Using your breath as well, this really helps the lymphatic drainage. Inhaling for about a count of four, exhaling for about a count of six. And then just pulsing there again. And that's it, you are all done. Come and join me for a little yoga workout, which is just for the upper body. So I'm coming across to my mat. I'm gonna take my shoes off. We're not actually going to be using the legs here, but if you prefer to go barefoot, if you're a yogi like me, you may want to just take your shoes off now. Now you can sit cross-legged like I am here, or you can even do this sitting on a chair or with your legs out in front of you or kneeling, whatever feels most comfortable for you. It's really gentle and it's just going to be the shoulder, neck and upper back release. So I'm just 
just going to start off slowly moving the neck so to one side then to the other side so i'm starting with palms up here just to bring that energy into the palms and into the rest of the body you'll see in a moment i'll switch to my hands the other way so this is just warming up through your neck please do take care if you've got any neck or shoulder injuries with these working to your own level with everything all the way through the techniques also focusing on your breathing just holding that neck stretch slightly bringing the chin up towards the sky and just exhaling and you're going to very gently move yourself to the other side tilting back slightly if that feels comfortable for your neck chin slightly up here getting that really good release through the neck now we're going to just roll across the front of the chest with the neck area little semicircles and really breathing here this is so good for helping you to feel comfortable through your neck and shoulders and then you can bring it all the way around into big circles stick with the half circles if that feels comfortable if you're okay to do full circles like i'm doing here we're going one way and then now we are going the other way this is also going to help with our posture, it's going to help with blood circulation to our face, it's going to help that our mind feel nice and calm as well. Now let's stretch through the upper back, arching the upper back, linking the fingers together, really getting a deep stretch into those muscles, inhaling and deep long exhale here then linking the fingers behind the back pushing out the chest squeezing your shoulder blades together i'm turning around here just to show you this technique and just slightly bring the chin up so it's parallel to the floor always working to your own level with everything let's now bring one arm across the body the other arm in front just showing you here that's so nice we're getting into the shoulder blade building through that flexibility swapping to the other side now inhaling and exhaling and if you're uncomfortable sat on the floor just move to a chair if you want to i'm going to turn around now to show you this technique bring one arm to meet the other arm if you prefer to use a dressing gown tie or a tie or a scarf here you can do don't worry if your hands don't meet it's absolutely normal for them not to meet it's also normal for one side to feel much more flexible than the other side and you can see here this is my much more flexible side we always have a dominant side of the body and you can see that that's mine there so i'm really opening up through the chest here i'm bringing the chin parallel to the floor now we're going to move into a spinal twist just gently looking over the shoulder keep the shoulder relaxed down away from the ear here pull up through the top of the head it's opposite hand to opposite knee other arm is behind the lower back then swapping to the other side inhaling and exhaling lovely relaxing spinal twist then you're just going to arch the spine push the chest out then arch the other way tuck the chin in inhale tilt the head back pushing out the chest exhale rolling the other way mm -hmm. 